List M not shown consists of eight different integers, each of which is in the list shown. What is the standard deviation of the numbers on list M? So statement number one tells us the average of the numbers in list M is equal to the average of the numbers in the list shown. Well, the list shown, these are evenly spaced numbers. And so evenly spaced numbers, first of all, we know that the mean always equals the median. And of course, what that would be is right in the middle here, the average of those two numbers, so that would be 13. And so what this tells us is that the mean of list M is 13. So we know that we'd have to take a symmetrically, we, we have to take eight numbers that are symmetrically spaced around the middle, but we have a variety of numbers that we could take and they'd have different standard deviations. So this by itself does not allow us to calculate the standard deviation. This by itself is insufficient. So now we have to forget about statement number one, focus purely on statement number two. We're told that list M does not contain 22. So that means that instead of 10 numbers to choose from, we have only nine numbers to choose from. Well, there are nine different lists we could make, nine different possible lists that we could choose for M and make each one just by eliminating one of the remaining numbers. So we could leave out four and we'd have a list, leave out six, we'd have another list, leave out eight, we'd have another list, and so forth. Each one of those lists would have a different standard deviation. And so there are nine possible lists, each with different standard deviations. So there's no way to know what the standard deviation of M would be purely from this. So this is also insufficient. Now we combine the two statements. Well, now we know 22 is definitely not included. And we have to have everything symmetrically situated around the middle here so that the mean is still 13. Well, if we eliminate the highest number and we want symmetry, the only possible way we can keep symmetry is also to by, by eliminating the lowest number. So we know that the other number we have to eliminate is four, and therefore the lift, list that we're left with, list M, are the continuous consecutive even numbers from six to 20. So we know the exact values on the list now. So now we would be able to figure out the exact standard deviation. We don't actually have to do that calculation because this is data sufficiency. It's enough to know that because we know the exact values on the list, we could calculate that exact value. So we now have sufficient information with the statements combined and the answer is C.